The Southeast's first ever living building is going up right here in Midtown and Georgia Tech's newest building will make more energy than it actually uses. It, I love that. Everybody's like, what is a living building? Well, here's how it works. It will make more water than it uses. The question, the big question though, was how in the world does it do it? CBS 46's Sally Sears is finding out. She joins us live with the behind the scenes look. This is a contest Georgia Tech is determined to win. Take a look. It's $30 million from the Candida Foundation, and if it works, the water and power bill here for Georgia taxpayers will be zero. It's beautiful. The corner of State and Firth Street is blooming under the eye of Douglas County native Shan Aurora. Georgia Tech's mission is to change hearts, minds, students, people, the world. This is a living embodiment that something that is built to the strict living building challenge standards can work in the southeast. Too hot, too muggy. That's the south's challenge to defeat here. So let solar panels on the roof shade the sun and collect energy and rainwater. Pipes in the concrete floor will use that water to heat and cool like a radiator. And the drinking water cleaned on site, wastewater, compost toilets. Microorganisms on the roots of the plants that treats the water and cleans it, and then that water gets infiltrated back into the ground and given back to the aquifer. On the inside here, we end up with compost that comes New York born here, Joshua Gassman with Lord Eck and Sargent partnered with Miller Hull to imagine these systems. Georgia Tech's history is going to be underfoot in this building. Literally, these very steps are going to be made from wood rescued from the restoration of Georgia Tech's historic tower. See as you walk the columns and the beams. Skanska's construction manager, Matt Williams, is from Albany, Georgia. He says the design reminds him of Cirque du Soleil, but that wooden interior is like a southern log cabin. And it's warm. It's woods inviting. It makes you think of home and a, a good place to be and a good place to be around. You like to be around it. Visitors are liking to be around it too, and it won't even open until the fall. But will it meet the design standards that it says it's going to meet to be a living building? Unlike the LEED standards, which don't have to be proven, this building has got to operate for a full year to be able to win this certification. And in the meantime, it's a great place to tour and likely to be a pretty popular classroom building too. Live at Tech, I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 News. Good job out there. Thank you, Sally. And